It's perfect. How are you going to start it? I'm just going to say hello. Do you have, oh, is it already recording? Yeah, it's recording now. Oh. You know how in Stranger Things how they have the upside down? I'm like the upside down version of you. <laughs> <laughs> but gay. <laughs> Maybe everything's gay in the upside down. I think probably. Most likely. That's oh. why they're, they're always listening to Kate Bush. Hi everybody, welcome to Ruined Board. My name's Chris George. Uh, I'm David DeFrancesco. And I'm Grish George of Broom and Roar. This is Matt Polipiak. Uh, <laughs> don't, these... I can't say my last name. <laughs> I can cut that. I'll bleep it. I'll bleep <laughs> it. You don't have to. I'll bleep it. It's gonna make my last name sound like a swear word. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Matt <laughs> I'm bleeping Matt. Uh, <laughs> um, welcome. Uh, you may have seen Dave and Matt on the channel before. They We did a top five cottage games last time. I was up here at the cottage. Maybe this not the last time. Not the last time. But, but, but yeah, it was a while. Many times. It was, very, a while. it was a very long time ago. Yeah. But uh, I've wanted to get them on the channel mm -hmm. again. And so we were up at the cottage playing games. And we were thinking of what, what a uh, fun video to do would be. And actually, you two have currently a challenge going on that inspired this video. Uh, do you want to describe what that challenge is, Dave, Matt? Go ahead, Matt. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, basically, we have a large game collection, and many of the games don't hit the table. So once a month, one of us each elects one game from the collection that has to be played that month. And if we don't play it by the end of the month, we have to sell it. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's now Cut. or never. Now <laughs> or, or never. never. Um, Matt wanted it to be games that you're going to divorce. Yeah, or that you're breaking up with. You yeah. know? Like at one point there was love. There was a lot of love and now the love has faded. And the question is, can you rekindle that love or is it time to break up with the game? I mean, it, it felt a little bit a little bit like we might be creating some <laughs> domestic tension if we nah, phrased it that we'll way. So, eh, we're not going to do that. We're going to call it Now or Never. Uh, and so, we, we all made a list of five games. These are going to be 15 games that need to be played very soon yeah. or else they got to go. Yeah. And they really got to go. Uh, I'm excited about my list. I, I was going to include a lot from this one big bundle that I got that I haven't played. And yeah. I was like, no, I don't. I don't want to, but there are other games in my collection that I do want to talk about. Yeah, they should be games that like you have played, yeah. did love at one point, mm -hmm. but now we're just kind of like, eh, I've played better games, or uh, it's not going to hit the table because yeah. we play this instead. Yeah. yeah, 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 it's been replaced. When you're reaching for that one thing, yeah. Like I always think about it in terms of I, I really enjoy culling the collection. I know I know you you in particular have also been culling a bit, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, and and the idea of like. Yeah, I'm saving this game for this perfect moment, yeah. and it hasn't happened yet, and maybe it even did happen, and maybe you reach for something else. Yeah. So these are the sorts of games that we enjoy, but but we need to play in order to justify keeping them yeah. uh, moving forward. Yeah. So why don't we get started with the list? Um, I want to preface mine, though. Like, my yeah, yeah. list is heavily influenced by the fact that like now I'm in a gaming era of my life where like more medium to heavyweight games which i used to be super into just don't hit the table as much when friends come over for a game night they don't want to spend 30 minutes listening to an explanation of rules yeah so my games lean more towards the medium to heavyweight type of games which i do love but just aren't hitting the table yeah i would say mine are mostly all of that as yeah. well yeah uh, for, yeah, for context as well, um, like I describe Matt as sort of my bo my board game soulmate. I've described him yep. because like our interests generally pretty align yep. pretty well in those in those heavier games, and we have had sort of an outstanding. Like we try to get together once once a month to play the heavy ones, to yeah. like because we really yeah. enjoy it. Games that we wish hit our table more, yeah. but that we're not interested in selling because we love them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's a different list, which um, maybe we'll we'll <laughs> do later. I think or I'm... maybe we're going to play some frigging games and yeah, you yeah. guys can just screw, screw you. I just want to also say that I'm probably your board game soulmate because I actually present a challenge when you play wow. a game, which just a lot of people at this table <laughs> yeah. don't do. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, fairly yeah. certain so. that Dave won one, two, three, four. Four games. Okay. I, won three games last night. Okay. I won three games last night. Yeah. You won one game last night, yeah. and Matt won one game. Last I was night. busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't know. We'd have to fact check it. We'd have to fact check. You're right. Honestly, hey Dave, I'd like to make it official. Would you love to be my board? I'm, no, I'm, I'm out of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> leaving. No, come back. You're fine. It looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like the divorce is in order. It is a real divorce today. We are actually separating our board game collection because. Now it's Chris and I, not, yeah. not yeah. Matt. Sorry. Wow. Um, all right, let's get started. Who wants to... I'll go last in my 
sure. in the numbers so I can have the last spot. Okay. But don't worry, Bounce Off won't you be don't... on this list. Uh, those who watch the channel, actually, Bounce this was the, the origin of the Bounce Off meme. The Bounce Off was here. Uh, comes from our, our five cottage games. And it is, it is Dave, in particular, who has introduced me to the glorious nature of Bounce Off. And everyone should praise him and I really don't, in the comments. I really section. don't know why I haven't just thrown it out. It's still sitting in <laughs> a drawer right there. Oh, for sure. Oh, I gotta I, take a picture. No, we're gonna finish this video playing Bounce yeah. Off. Oh, right. no. I think, well, the room and board Instagram is now only pictures of Bounce Off that I find in people's houses, oh, so I will God. be taking yeah, a picture. Yeah, that right. makes sense. This makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Okay, Dave, you start. Number five. Um, yeah, I feel like this game is number five for me because uh, we'd never really play it, it but it's smaller. So mm. it's, not, it's not actually one of the bigger games. It's one of the smaller games. It is easier. It is easier to teach. It is easier to play. It doesn't take up as much room on our shelf. Uh, it's Blue Lagoon. Um, I feel like Good we pick. bought it uh, like probably five years ago. Probably played it like maybe twice and haven't really played it. And I feel like oh, I would have no idea how to even play the game again. Uh, I would need a full re-explanation of the game. Uh, and I just don't really care about it. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like Spirit Island does it better, like an island concept better that we have. Like, I don't know, just the Blue Lagoon just doesn't do it for me. That's not what it used to be. It used to just like sing Moana while playing Blue Lagoon. <laughs> well, of fans. course. So, like, <laughs> obviously, I'm gonna sing Moana while we do it. It's like it. Moana the board game. That Blue that makes me want to keep it. Uh, but Blue Lagoon, I have Blue Lagoon because I I played it at yeah. first at your at yeah. your place, yeah. and I was like, yeah, this is fun. And I saw it. And I got a used copy. It could have been on my list as well. I think that's a really good pick. Yeah, because it's like it's small, right? Like it doesn't yeah. take up a lot of space. But there's no reason for us to like ditch it right now. Yeah. But I'm just sort of like, when are we gonna play it? I want to like, play it now. No, then this is I'm why excited. this is the list, right? We're yeah. like the games that we need. <laughs> I we still love play. you, Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blue Lagoon. Um, like as a re as a mechanical sort of refresher, you, you, it's a two round sort of game. So you, every turn you're going to be placing one of your little pieces on the board. It's very abstract, really, and you want to stretch out sort of a continuous line, touching various special locations and grabbing resources on the map. And then you get points based upon like set collection of the resources, how many islands you've hit. There's like eight islands. Yeah, you just have to really see how far you'll go. Yeah, you got to see how far you'll go. <laughs> Much like Moana. That was um, the... I know. Was I, the... I know that that was the joke. I was just... For those out there who are slow. There wasn't a need. No. I'm making it accessible. Was... Okay. What's your number five? My number five. Can I do a thing where like, I do like this and then the board game goes over your face? Yes. Can you do that? For you, I will do it. Number five. And I'm going to put it over Matt's Hold on. face. No. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Oren Labora. Uh, I picked Oren Labora, which is, what is it? You Rosenberg? Yui Rosenberg? Uwe. 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 Yeah. You learn something new every day. We, you've uh, learned that before. And I'll learn it again another day. <laughs> Oren Labora, Uwe Rosenberg. I remember when the game, so it was out of print for a long time, and I was like, God, I want this game. Mm -hmm. We were obsessed with Agricola. We were obsessed with Le Havre. Mm -hmm. I was like, got to get or in Labora, and it was out of print, and I was like thinking about buying an, a used out of print copy for way too much, and then the reprint came along, and I was so stoked, bought it. It sat on the shelf for like two years before we ever played it, and then when we played it, I loved it, but it's one of those games where there's so many rules, yeah. the mechanics are amazing, but it's like every time I sit down to play it, I need to like give myself at least an hour to review the rule book, and then another half hour to teach the rules to someone, and by the time, you're starting the game, it's like an hour and a half in, and it's a long game to begin with. And it is so fun to play. I love that there's an Irish side, a French side, but I just, there's other of his games that feel similar. Even Glass Road has a similar, mm -hmm. like a, yeah, the single, yeah. yeah the, the, the resource dial that just plays quicker and it's just a bit more accessible. And as much as I really love the game, I just, I can't see it hitting our table anytime mm. soon. And even the thought of like trying to relearn it to play it before selling it, I'm like, God, that's gonna be a long rule book to read. <laughs> Yeah. And and the and rule books like are well laid out. Real but... book, rule books in there too. Like oh, it's so many. Because there's like sh a short version of the game, a long yeah. version of the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, I'm also not bit. here. At La Half has the same thing. I'm not here for like here's the short version, here's the long version. Tell me how to play the game. Make it one way. Yeah. Although, I, don't, although, I don't want it. To be fair, um, like with with Le Havre, I've only well, I played Le Havre a few times, but the first time I played it with you, yeah. and we were like, screw the short version. But yeah. after playing it a few times and seeing like other people's um patience or enthusiasm for the game sort of wane like they don't have the stamina yeah, yeah. for that long game I, yeah. i'm like i'm like okay i appreciate that there is a short version because then it does make it that accessible maybe going into the short version might 
Uh, well, you still have to learn the like. You still have to learn all the rules. My it's thing with gonna... the short version is like I'm a person who has FOMO, so if I'm playing like a shortened version, I fear like I am missing out on. Something. It's the same reason why I would never watch the Lord of the Rings non-extended versions. Yeah. I mean, also the extended versions are just the superior versions of the movies. <laughs> just like the longer game is inevitably going to be the superior version of the game. So it's like you just want to play the game yeah. as it's meant to be designed. I don't want like some like half-assed shorter version of it so that people don't complain about how long it is. But yeah. also, if it doesn't hit yeah. the table. It doesn't hit the table. So yeah. That's a good pick. That's a really good pick. Yeah. Um, yeah, my my pick, my number my number five is going to be that sort of... Th these are games that I haven't yet played once. Uh, and they're part of this bundle deal. So I'm, I'm picking two picks. And I'm, the reason I'm picking two picks is because, like, I've kept them because I think they look good. Yeah. And yet I still haven't had the, the reason to get them off the shelf and learn them when I have all these other sort of things that I need to learn and, like, prioritize, right? Yeah. I'm like... I've, I've gotten rid of a lot of that bundle deal. When I first got into YouTube, I, I saw this great bundle deal of 20 games where for like 200 bucks. And I was like, great, I can review all these games that uh, nobody's really heard of or talking about. And there's a reason nobody's really talking about these games, right? But I think some of them might be hidden gems and like that's why I'm holding on to them. Uh, so it's a combo. There's, there's a game called Simurg, uh, Dragon Lord. That's right here. And oh. uh, uh, and then we have um, Fire and Axe, which is also right here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fire. Um, but both of those, Fire and so Merg, I'm just like, okay, Renee really likes worker placement. That's yep. why I'm holding on to it. It also has like the expansion content into it, in it. So it's a big, thick, chunky box. Yep. Feel very heavy. I'm like, oh, there's so many components in here. I must love this, yep. which feels silly. And then um, Fire and Axe, the only reason it was on my radar is because I think it was on Sam Healy's top 10 Okay. at, at a point in time. And so it's a Viking-themed game. It looks like sort of light, route, almost route building. Okay. And it actually feels like it could be fairly accessible, but it's one of those things. And, like, the production quality looks nice. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, okay, like, that was one of the games in the bundle that I was like, I recognize this. I, I can justify I can justify purchasing the bundle. Yeah. Um, I've never heard of either of these No, games. me neither. Like, yeah. literally. I, the first time I'll ever see these games is when you cover up my face with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so rude. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I've uh, never heard of either of them, so yeah. I don't really have any much that I can comment on on them. Yeah, but... and I mean, I haven't played them yet. Sure. So, so if you know them, yeah. write in the comments if they're worth it, please. This is my cry for help, but I figured I'd merge the, both of those together at number five because I've got other ones that I, I want to talk about that I actually do like and I'm excited to talk about. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Number four? Number four. Number four. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, number four, which is going to pop up right over here, uh, is... <laughs> this is not a thing. It's <laughs> Oran Labora anyway. as well. Is it Oran Labora? Yeah, it wow. was. Yeah. So again, like, nice. I feel like we went through a really big Uwe Rosenberg phase. Uwe. It's Uwe. Uwe Rosenberg. Uwe Rosenberg. <laughs> And uh, it just like never got played. Like we yeah. bought it and it sat there for two years. And I think we played it once yeah. again. Like we've like, I think we played it twice because we did play. We played France and Ireland. I remember having played both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But it's like we have the French deck for Agricola. Like if we want to play a and game that has a theme, a theme of France, we can play the French deck of Agricola. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. it, it, it works as a game and I really like the system. I like playing all the cards. I like the dial. I like all of that stuff, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't like, I don't know. I'd rather play Agricola. I'd rather play Lav. Like, yeah. Or I'd rather play Glass Road. And like, or yeah. even I'd rather play Fields of Arl, which yeah. we don't really play that often, yeah. but Fields it's a really cool two player game. Yeah. And because we're mostly playing these bigger heavy board games, either just the two of us or yeah, with, or with yeah. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, is it going to hit the table ever? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think it is worth it for us to at least play it again. Yeah. Like, but read the rules, play it one more time, yeah. like, have one more time, like, do it, like, learn it over a little period of session. And also, I feel like when we learned it, I wasn't as good at retaining rules to games. Now that I, like, understand way more game mechanics and have been, like, yeah. looking deeper into game, mechan game mechanics, I think I'll be able to, like, Retain, retain it more. faster yeah. because yeah. like and I have played Agricola more but I find that the rules of Agricola although they are like complex and there's lots of like little like little rules to remember well, I it's, remember it's, them it's, way easier in Agricola it's than a, I do like, in it's a more, dense or? font rule book of an index oh, like, at the, oh, they're like yeah. all the closet cases are just like full <laughs> yeah. in the Agricola rule book and but like, I find Wait. Agricola quite accessible yeah yeah, you know, I, considering I so how too. heavy weight yeah. of a game it is yeah. I feel like I could teach that game to people quickly whereas Oran Labora I don't even know where to be yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, I think I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't find Greg Grickle that that heavy. I feel like that might be have to be the game we have to play for June. Oh, then 
longer. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. we because we're, we're gonna play the one maybe well, today. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that. It's coming up. Yeah. Um, okay, my number four. Well, oh, but no, but before talking. that, well, if it doesn't get to June, like I'll also because I've seen your Uve collection and there's a lot that I haven't played. Like I want an Uve day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Know? Yeah, it'd be fun. So if you wanted to wait until I was back and like yeah, punt Oro Labora, I'm definitely interested in Oro Labora. I've never I've never played Glass Road yeah, either. Glass so we would have to. Get the expansion of Fields and Arl because you can only play with two. Yeah, I, would, I mean, it wouldn't have that, like, little We could play it on one of our days when David comes yeah, and yeah. plays only the light games. Well, that's not always how it happens. <laughs> it's it's really the last time, time I played, played it's all of how it happened. I played all of them. I beat both of you at Rococo. I didn't win. Renee won. But I still beat both of you at it. I played every game. So if you could just stop the lies on the internet, then that'd be good. Uh, Matt, what's your number four? My number four is. Wait, what is it again? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, this might be a little controversial. <laughs> uh, my number four is Carcassonne. Oh, interesting. And here's the thing. I love hmm. Carcassonne. A classic tile-laying game. Mm -hmm. I feel like there are just other tile-laying games that scratch that itch a bit more, that hit our table a bit more, and I've just had it for so long, yep. and I've, I've sort of fallen out of love with it. We've like reached, we're past the seven-year itch. We've just moved on. And we don't see each other anymore. <laughs> and and I want to. <laughs> but it's just not like, you know, now we have like Acropolis. A f***ing love. Oh, can I swear? Yeah, sure. I, I really like Acropolis. I find it a really satisfying tile lane game. King Domino, really satisfying tile lane game. Patchwork. Like those games just give me more of the ooh, ah, ah sensation mm -hmm. I'm looking for mm -hmm. in laying tiles than Carcassonne does. Although I just feel like, and with the farmers, I don't know. The other yeah. thing that I'm sad about with Carcassonne is that I have like a really old version of it where the artwork is so beautiful it's way better than the I and then version too. Yeah. i have i only have one expansion which is inns and cathedrals but the artwork is the more Different. updated one oh. so also the tiles are just incongruous with each other which yeah. is just like like the original carcassonne is like a beautiful painting that you build and i love that and so now it's like the I update can, sucks like the, the, art on the, the artwork is, is so bad. ugly they yeah. really so it's like uh, yeah. I'm just sad. Like, and I, I, like, I put this on this list, knowing that like we're gonna play this game, and I'm never gonna sell it because I love the artwork on that original card. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I think about breaking up with it. Sometimes. I feel like honestly, I'd be willing to part with into cathedrals. You know what I mean? Like, separate it. Yeah, no, well, it's not even. They're in separate boxes. Oh. But like, we had a friend actually make us a bag in order to put all of the tiles in, and you like have to pull to out pull of the bag. And I do like because that. Because, because of the, the tiles of the being back. different. Yeah, the yeah. back of the tiles are different. Um, yeah. But yeah. also, isn't the actual rule of Carcassonne is that you can see your next tile like bef before the next player's play? I don't like, think that that's like an official rule in the rule book, but it's how like, a lot of people play. Yeah, or like Board Game Arena has it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm just like, and that's a thing, There's no right? reason not to as long as you're not saying, hey, don't put that there, because I have the road coming yeah, up. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. But yeah, it's just like yeah, the the the, the incongruous artwork and not being able to like actually yeah. like I think if I could access the original artwork of other expansions, I would have bought in all the expansions, and I regret, regret not doing it because I think there's so much more game when you factor them in. You can put some in, put them out, but when the when the artwork doesn't line up, it's so unsatisfying. Yeah, 100 oh, percent. Yeah, I, I think this is a good pick too. Like Carcassonne is one of those things where it is such a classic game that mm -hmm. like a lot of people start with. I know it was one of my first yeah. ten games that I got probably yeah. right. Uh, but and it's a great game. It's it's fun. Yeah, it's fun when you when you pull it out. But also like too in like modern board gaming, you don't often pull it out. No, totally. And it also is just easy enough to pop yeah. on board game arena yeah. and play a quick yeah. round on a table. And, you know what I mean? Or like someone else you know might have a copy. Yeah, too. totally. Yeah. Most and, people have a copy of. And the other thing I'll say is that like as far as like light to medium weight games go, this is one of them. But if you're teaching it to someone for the first time you're always going to beat them because the farmer aspect yeah, yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. a little bit, you have to play a few times to really understand how important farmers are, when to lay them down, yeah. how the farming tiles are actually scored. Yeah. And so it's also like not a game that I'm necessarily going to teach new people right away because I'm just like, I'm going to wallop them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's not always fun either. I want people to feel like they're in it. Yeah. yeah that's, totally. a, that's a great point. Yeah. yeah. Good, good pick. Um, my number four is a game that Renee loves, oh. but we don't play. No, we just don't play it that much. And well, I have a guess this time. Uh, okay, what's your, what's your guess? Oh, no, that actually should be on the list, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. Um, that was one that, I, that, that I've made up my mind that I'd like to see go. Uh, 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 Renee um, says she loves it. Yeah, Morel's was uh, what, uh, what, what Matt whispered into my ear. I've spilled the secrets. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's not Morel's. I think it's, that's fine. Renee really enjoys that one. But the one that I'm talking about is Ghost Stories. I don't know if either of you has played Ghost Stories. It's cooperative. No. Um, there are three 
it's a three by three grid in the middle of locations. You're moving your monks all around those locations. Why are and, there monks? Uh, because you're protecting that sanctuary from uh, the ghosts. Oh, okay. Because the evil spirits are rising and they're coming in all around from the outside <laughs> of the Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. You're not getting rid of it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just saying we have to play it or it's, it's now or never, Renee. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the look of, uh, the look of, uh, of derision. <laughs> these, these games are not being getting rid of. Ghost stories? You never even told me about it. Yeah. How come you've never made you us never play it? You never talked to it. About, to me about it. You weren't ready for it. Oh, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> That's you fair. Wouldn't, couldn't handle it. <laughs> Test of will. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so you have all of these, you have all of these evil spirits coming in from the outside, and you have to go to where they are. It's kind of, it's like a tower defense. So you have to manage all like sides yeah, yeah, yeah. of it, and the the locations can get destroyed and flipped over. Um, Renee is very passionate about <laughs> it, but we often opt for other of her favorite games, right? I feel yeah. like like she'll she'll pull out, she'll be like, okay, give me Everdell, or give me Wingspan, mm -hmm. give me Lords of Waterdeep, mm -hmm. give me Gizmos, yeah. right? Like yeah. all of those will be re requested, even probably Attack on Titan will be requested before uh, Ghost Stories, yeah. right? And so it's a matter of, of like, where does it fall in those? It sounds interesting, I'd play Ghost Stories. It yeah, is I fun, it. it's like a punishing, it's very difficult, it's a very difficult co-op when you're playing it at like, uh, at a certain, element and that's why I enjoy I enjoy it and I like keeping it but it's one that I do want to play a lot more of um, because because Renee enjoys it so much and it just doesn't happen to get to the table yeah. and so like putting it on this list as one of those I think that's that's the that's the purpose of this list um, for that reaction that unfortunately I don't have <laughs> two cameras I just but, thought of one that I hope is on your list and I'll be upset if it's not it might be the next get, one you should get rid Oh. <laughs> wow. It's probably not. It's probably not. You can you can save that for near, for uh, near the end. Yeah. Uh, Dave, let's go on to your number three. Okay. Uh, my number three is mm -hmm. a little bit... I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's Sulkin. Oh. Um, it's, it's like such a... It's such a beautiful game. The gears are so stunning. It's unlike any other game. And like, I know we'll never, ever get rid of it. No. But it's just like, I don't... <laughs> like it well you're just not like good at it sure different sure probably <laughs> but i just don't like it like i the wheels when to take them on when to put them on all that stuff like yeah i like the look of it i really like the game i'm just like i like worker placement games but this it just makes me mad um, like every time i play the game it makes me mad i don't want to play it i see it sitting on board game arena and i'm like never will i ever touch that one you know what for if you put this up for matt i'll tell you the like proven strategy is it the corn strategy Maybe. Yeah, there's just like one, yeah, there's like one strategy that wins it all. That, like, yeah, I yeah. just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, it, I it don't care. A bit, a bit I don't like... care about collecting corn and feeding these workers to go and discover mine temples. Like, yeah. it's beautiful. The Gears is a, such a cool game, unlike anything other. But, <laughs> so um, eloquent. Yeah, so eloquent. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, for me, it's a cool game. It looks beautiful. I don't keep, I don't want to play it. Yeah. Like, I'll set up. The, I'll set up the set up the board and spin the gear a little bit, but then it can go away. Like it's, I just don't care. It's a game that like I won't play on board game arena because people are too good at it. Like mm -hmm. there is like there's yeah. like a certain level of I've stopped. It's a game I stopped playing on board game arena because I like playing it in real life. Yeah. But I also think it's a really good pick because it it could be on my list as well. Yeah. yeah. Because I like it so much and I do never get it to the table. Yeah. It's like, something that it, sits it takes on the a show while play. to play. Yeah. Like it's not a quick game. It's one of those brain burning ones where you're always having to think like many, many steps ahead. Mm -hmm. so it's not a very social game because you're really having to like focus on what you're doing. Yeah, totally. It can be frustrating if you don't get the thing you want. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. I do. I do. Okay. But it's unlike any beautiful. other worker placement game that we yeah. have. Sure. Though, which I want to talk about it. Yeah. And you acknowledge that. You acknowledge yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the uniqueness of it, right? Like, I yeah. love the concept of the gears. Totally. And, and I think that one strategy of like getting a bunch of resources and then going to the trading those resources for yeah. corn um, kind of. It, to me, I've somewhat, I mean, I used it against, uh, the last time I played it was at um, my neighbor Yuval's house. Mm. And uh, uh, I. He was like, "That's not in the spirit of the game," because I just kind of walloped him. <laughs> uh, but, but I like, I kind of agree with that sentiment. Yeah. Like, the spirit is like that push of when to when to pull them off, yep. and, and yeah. I really like that element. Uh, and and I always look for games that kind of try to do that as well, because I think there's a potential innovation out there for for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, My number three. Number three. Yeah. My number three is. 
It's man. never going to go there. It's, it's always going to be covering your own face. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> My number three is Lewis and Clark. Yeah. This is our current. This is our current one up mm-hmm. for this month. David offered it to me, and I was like, no. And then I was like, no, we do have to play it, or it needs to go. Yeah. Lewis and Clark. I I really like. I think like. Uh, it's a beautiful looking game. I really like the fact that it's a race element to it. You're trying to be the first person to cross the finish line to make it across the the way. I think the mechanics of like, you're building a deck, but you're also kind of doing worker placement. You have to manage like how many resources and meeples that you have are great. I think that like, it's a bit like colonialism, Mm -hmm. a little bit like, you know, when you read like the take your Indian token and move Mm -hmm. it this many spaces, you're like, that feels a bit, odd it's that's, like in five <laughs> tribes when they first released five tribes and they were like slave tokens mm-hmm. and they're like that's just it's just like why yeah it hasn't aged well yeah. but w- i do appreciate that like the game is like historically meticulously researched like all of the cards in all of the like decks that you start with as well as cards that you build in your deck throughout the game are like actual historical figures there's a write-up in the back like they care the creators of this game care a lot about the Lewis and Clark expedition and did learn a lot about yeah. it which I really appreciate and I think mechanically it is a lot of fun it's a game that like the more people you play with the longer it takes and it is a bit dense to start with so it can be a bit brain burny take a while to like really understand and I don't think we've ever like really mastered it so no. we've never gotten particularly good at the game. again I feel like we've played that game once uh, I've played it a few more times. Than you know what I mean? Like, but it hasn't yeah. been very it's, much. It doesn't in hit the like table the a lot. eight years yeah. we've owned it. Yeah, it really hasn't That's been. Really fun. I know, and it's cool, and it's like a race, yeah. which you don't see a lot in, yeah, in board yeah. games. Like yeah, yeah. the winning condition is whoever gets to the expedition finish first, yeah. right? Like, so it is. It's a cool, different mechanic and different than a lot of our other games, but. Yeah. It's just one of those ones that it's like, when have we played it? The yeah. last time we played it was like, yeah. like years before the pandemic. Yeah. So. Yeah, cool. that's a good yeah, good number. That's the one that inspired this list, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what inspired yeah. the video. Yeah. Um, Surprisingly, it's not number one. It's not number one. No. That's that's cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, my number three. The last time I played this game, um, I think I played it with you two, uh, and it was around like 2018, mm. maybe. And it's a game that uh, we need to play. Oh yeah, <laughs> together. Oh, <laughs> or else it's or else I'm moving on yeah, and I'm playing course. it with Renee or okay. just Ryan or Ryan needs to go. Oh, Ryan's someone, never going to show someone, up. Ryan, if you're watching, Ryan, this, if you're where watching are this, you? <laughs> Ryan, hi. This where is, have you been? This is Pandemic Legacy Season One. Yes. It's the three of us and 100%. Ryan, uh, our friend Ryan, who hasn't yet been on the channel, but I'm sure will be uh, eventually. And he. This is a game that have, we have to finish. Yeah, we do. It's so good. We do. It's, it's so it, good. Yeah, it's great. It, it made my top 20 games of all time. We started doing terribly. And we played though. half of it. And we started doing terribly. We didn't know. We, we, well, we, yeah, we, we won back. the first four games, and then we lost the four games. Yeah, we lost yeah. the next two months. And like yeah. our board is... I, but I, like think, we, I think we won. We won. The last one we played, we won. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had... Because we, we, we won four in a row. We lost four in a row. Yeah. And then we won another game. Right. So we're, we're yeah. midway through the campaign... Yeah. This is one that we have to find. We just we have do. to find time for because it is so so good, and it's one of those things where like the the amount of time that is that has drug on yeah. is it has I think lessened my enthusiasm for it, lessened my like memory of the enthusiasm. Totally, yeah. and I think if it's something that we actually commit to and get to play, we'll we'll remember. Oh yeah, this is so cool, and this is so cool. Yeah. And this thing's going on. And For like, sure, there's so many boxes we still thing. haven't opened. Yeah, like we have no idea what happens. And don't spoil it, <laughs> honestly. But we, we're like, we're bad, David. Me and you are particularly bad at finishing legacy games. Oh yeah, like we. Oh, we yeah. I oh, love yeah. the idea of a legacy yeah. game more than anything. But it's like we played maybe like a quarter of Gloomhaven. Loved it. One of my yeah. favorite games I've ever played. Yeah. Haven't continued. No. Uh, Charterstone. Charterstone is, is like a slash on this list for Two me. thirds of the way through, yeah. probably Charterstone. I, I haven't finished it. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's something about a legacy game that it's like, yeah, I feel like I have to only play it until it's done. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, if I start introducing other games, you start to lose momentum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have to review rules. Like, you want to just, like, keep the pace going. For sure. And, and like, like Gloomhaven is one that I'm like, let's play again. Oh you know what God. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I would pick back go. up our campaign and go, which we should. Yeah. We should do it. It's, take, it's a size of a case of beer sitting on our bookshelf <laughs> like we need to play that game yeah and also it'd be really cool to like finalize that whole map of it and have it there but i just yeah and yeah. even with pandemic legacy like it's yeah. like yeah for us to have our final world map yeah yeah and see what happens and then it's like you could frame it and put it up you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. Yeah. when you have your office once you actually know make money doing what you're doing <laughs> my office of, i've got an office yeah but like it's the like closet I'm, yeah it's I was going to be able to continue that uh, I know, yeah. That sentence. Yeah, we are going to be able to keep going, but I don't know if we can anymore. This camera stops filming after 30 minutes, so that's why, you know, I always have to 
you always have to press the start button. Um, yeah, but yeah, just just so fun, mm -hmm. so good. We need mm -hmm. to we need to to designate some time, and it's just it's just managing schedules, right? Totally. But at, at a certain point, we we got to somebody's gonna get cut. We have to yeah, we, and I, it, honestly, it's probably gonna be Ryan. It could be Ryan. That's for you, sure, Ryan. Ryan, do you are you alive, but, Ryan? It could be it could be Matt. Okay, yeah, that's you know? true. You, me, Ryan could do it. It's true. We could November, like, December. Think, we absolutely could. It's when Matt goes who's like, oh, Matt I'm goes so to busy. Winnipeg. Yeah, honestly, you're in my problem. Yeah, I think I think it could be Matt. Okay, it's Scott. That's true. All November, December, I'm just around <laughs> Toronto, not really yeah. doing very much. I'll be Ryan's, there. Ryan will Ryan, be there. Yeah, yeah. he's got a new job, so his hours Yikes. are better. I join losing pandemic legacy flops. You know what? I think we might. We might win. Tell you what, if, I mean, we, if we start replaced him you, with Renee, it would be just as good. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Ryan, replace <laughs> Ryan with Renee. But how about this, Matt? We'll start, if we don't get it until like we got to do it. But when you leave for Winnipeg, we're gonna play the three of us. And if we lose a game, then we'll stop. But if we keep winning, mm. then we're gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's my number three, Pandemic Legacy. Okay. Number two, Dave. Yeah, I gotta choose. Uh, okay, I think we go. Yeah, I'll go with this one next. Um, number two for me is a game called Notre Dame. Um, I, again, like, I don't even know the mechanics of it. I don't even remember. I know there's rats, I know there's other things that can happen. Uh, we were in a sitting. We were in a there. big How Steffenfeld. <laughs> we were in a, like a big Steffenfeld buying spree at one point, and we bought this one. And mm -hmm. I think it's been played once. And it's like yeah. I'd rather play Luna. I'd rather play in uh, Bruges. I'd rather play, um, obviously Castles of Burgundy. Yeah. Like I'd rather play any of those games. I feel like this one's just not going to hit the table. It feels like again, like very point salad -y, very yeah. like. And it's cool that we own it. I don't know because like I think it's like not as common of a game to buy. But I'm just sort of like, well, what is it? What is this game? It's it so sits fun there on the you shelf. Like race around and you go to the different places. And I, it's I think it doesn't play well at two. Yeah, and which is we've why only we played it at two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought I'll play about it with you. Like I, sure, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We should get it in one ten. But it's like that's what I mean. Like yeah. this is why it needs yeah. to be played. Yeah. No. Otherwise, it's like why do we have it? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like you're right. It doesn't. You're right. Uh, we, I don't know the mechanics. It's you one of the, the ones that I don't want to. It's one of the ones that I don't want to admit that like the love is, is sure. Is yeah, fractured, sure. But know? like you I, can admit you'd rather play Bruges and probably remember how to play Bruges better. I remember how to play Bruges better, but I would rather play Notre Dame. Oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I, I would rather. I would rather play Luna than both of them. I mean, Luna is gorgeous. But Luna's like, pretty fun, you know, yeah. like for me, that's kind of where that game sits on the list, just because mm -hmm. I'm just like, what is it? I, I, it sits there. I would rather play probably any... Or Trajan. Oh, Trajan's so Yeah, Trajan. Good. You know what I mean? Like, all of his Trajan. games are really Do you really good. hate Trajan? No, it's a love-hate. I hmm. hate... I like I, it makes me so mad because I'm very bad at it. Hmm. But, like, I, I love... I appreciate and love what it's doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's where my number two sits. Uh, I just kind of like, yeah. let's either play it or why is it here? Yeah. 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 Great number two. Yeah. Great list. Great list. Okay, my number two yeah. is... <laughs> Every time. Don't put it over my face. I mean, at least one time can you put it over your own face? Well, you gotta uh, say it quicker then because, okay. because... Dead of winter. Oh, uh, God. Uh, oh. How dare oh, you? It just hit me. Oh. You're fine. Oh. You're fine. Oh. It's Dead of Winter. Um, <laughs> Dead of Winter, like when it first came out, I was like on the hype train. I paid too much money for yeah, it when did. I found it at a store in the state somewhere yeah. i did not need to pay as much money as i did but i was like i must have this game so the first couple times we played it it was awesome it's a like, great it's a great game yeah. I, it's a great game i love that it's like loves it co-op yeah. i love that it's co-op uh but also there's an element of like a trader i love that it feels heavily thematic and that the mechanics of the game support the theme yeah. mm -hmm. in yeah. a really organic way. I think that that's so fun. And really my love for it should only increase like with shows like um, Last of Us coming out. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the the want to play a game like Dead of Winter mm -hmm. should be real strong. And I do want to, but when I think about like setting that game up, mm -hmm. relearning the rules, getting it all ready to go. I could teach it to you, no problem. I mean I'm like, sure you could, I want to play it again. I could refresh it. Like, I'm I just like, there are no so problem. many other games yeah. I'd rather play. And I also don't love co-op games. Mm. Mm -hmm. As I, in general, like a game like Gloomhaven, where it feels like you're on a quest together, amazing. It's a whole other story. But like Dead of Winter, there's just something about it. Like I'd rather play Spirit Island. You know? Interesting. Okay. When, we, when I look at the co-op games, in I would. Collection. I would prefer to play Dead of Winter over Spirit. Oh Island. yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Spirit Island's just kind of like. Eh. 
I disagree. For me, I play. I pick Spirit Island over yeah. Dead of Winter no, really? too. Yeah. But no, that's just because of like I love the asymmetry in Spirit Island. I think I just like the artwork on the Dead on Dead of Winter. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, a you beautiful little sexy fireman. Like yeah, you, know, you mean the one of... sexy fireman? I said the little sexy fireman. Did I not? Yeah, I don't understand. But fireman would be plural. Fireman is singular. I heard fireman. Uh, fireman. All right. It's just his accent. Whatever, okay. I'm being cheated on with a plastic cardboard <laughs> fireman. Uh, you know, I was you really, don't love me. I was really searching for the name of the of the dog I character, know. the oh, Sparky. Uh, I think it's Sparky. I think it is Sparky. Yeah, I was like, oh, you, I, because I wanted to say, oh, you mean Sparky? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I missed that. I, I couldn't find it. Feasty um, jokes. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. So I see why you would pick that of winter. Uh, I just, I'm just like, I would, I want to play it. Like, I, it's again, also one, but we have to play it in the winter. Like two players, not fun. Three players. Okay, you kind of want four plus for Dead of Winter. No, it's a longer like. game. It's a longer game. Yeah. But in order to really enjoy, yeah. I feel like the mechanics and the idea of like creating a colony and being like a group of survivors. And I then feel it makes like... the trader element more important. Yeah, yeah. you can't it's... play with the trader at two. That's yeah. just and it's just yeah. A, yeah, it's better at a higher player count, and that's just less likely to happen. For, yeah, for me. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I don't mind it at two because you don't have to worry about the trader, and you just focus on the co-op puzzle, right? Like yeah. mm-hmm. that. That it, I've I played it at two a few times with Renee, and I've actually enjoyed it a bit. I don't think I've ever played it at two because I'm just like, yeah, if there's no I, risk of trader. Yeah. Then, I think that my favorite part about Dead of Winter, which I haven't seen another game implement, is the crossroads cards. Yes, right. The crossroads, oh, are, the crossroads cards are really, cards cool. are really so good, good yeah. and I'm so surprised I ha- you haven't seen it as that potential for random events. Yeah, but yeah. not necessarily. It's, it's true. Like, it's a good below, way to put yeah. randomization within yeah. a game yeah. Yeah. in a way that no one's ever really done. Like it. above and below has like all the encounter cards. Above and below is almost on my list, uh, and it's like the encounters are great, yeah. but the crossroads. The way that they implement them and yeah. the, the possibility of things happening is really satisfying. Yeah. yeah, and I love the noise tokens. I love like rummaging and making noise. Feels very thematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my number two is a game that I first played with you, oh. um, and then I got the second edition of this game. Oh. You paid a bunch of money no. for the first edition, and then you were like, because it was out of print, and then it came out with the second edition, mm-hmm. and you're you're so mad about it. Yeah, and the second mm-hmm. edition just um, fixes all the first edition's problems. And, and so this is a game that plays two to six players, and and it's I've been keeping it because of that player count. I feel yeah. Yeah. not necessarily because of the game itself. <clears throat> That's Mission Red Planet. Yeah. Um, do you still have your your? Yep. I mean, I assumed you didn't get no, rid I of it. No, I sold my Mission Red Planet. I thought it might have been Did in, that, in that a long time ago. Yeah. I sold it not in the last bundle, like a couple of bundles oh, ago. Really? I sold it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the picture. I because because my brother has the second edition and the first edition. Uh, it's it's a, it's it's a little bit broken mechanically. There's a couple wobbly things about it. The pieces aren't as good, and I know people now who have the second edition. And yeah, I'll probably right. I would consider buying it. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have it anymore. It's it's one of those games that like I think really really works in that like medium weight area control mm-hmm. genre right yeah, really. like it, for those of you who haven't played you're kind of programming where when you're going to activate so similar to something like citadels you all have different characters in your hand and they're going to count down nine eight seven six like it's the counting off yep. counting down a rocket ship blasting off and going to mars and you activate that that character's ability for that round it lets you put people on spaceships it lets you turn other people's people into your people, right? It gives you various Such a things. Great game. And then you launch your spaceships and all the people on those spaceships who have filled it up, because yeah. there's all, only a certain amount of people that are allowed on a spaceship, it can only hold so many people. They go to different locations, and then you're playing this area control game up there at Mars over these three like type of resources. Yeah. It's it's really slick, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it, it I would like it again for that sort of timing, that yep. amount of time that it takes. Yeah. You can get like a a, a, a cutthroat like backstabby area control game in for that amount of time but it, it's it's just one that i that i don't play and it's one that also i consistently put in my bag like to, to bring, bring over somewhere. to yeah. bring over because i'm like okay we've got a wide range of people i'm putting mission red planet in and it's one that consistently doesn't <clears throat> get hit yeah mm, and so fair. and so because of that like i still want it on my shelf i'm like I think that like this is a good game. This should yeah. be played, but the fact that it doesn't get picked yeah. is 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 what made it get so far up on this list. Yeah, it's it's one of those where we, like yeah. we play it like almost because my brother has it and because I don't have it and I love it so much. We play it a lot of times. Like most times when we go back to Saskatchewan, yeah, like, we'll play it. Summer, yeah. we'll play yeah. it once. Yeah, for sure. 
And like, if you get rid of your person, we'll just play we'll it. Just yeah, yeah. But like, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things. Like, yeah. it's a great game, and we do really love it. Love the steampunkness of it too. Yeah. yeah. I but again, think... I think the art in the first version was better than the art in the second. No, I disagree. Ooh, okay. uh, I like the art in the first version. The art in the second version is a bit more cartoony. Right. It's a bit more cartoony. But don't you get the little actual figures? In the you second get the actual figures. Yeah. 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 And the first one, it's like, yeah. and also like even like in the second version, you count down nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah. And the, and other the one first version, you go one. Up, like, yeah. Yeah. It's oh, really? more, yeah. It's more thematic. There's a lot of so, games that don't. Little tweaks the that they made. Cards, that, like the face down cards yeah. are better. Yeah. There's just yeah. yeah. They, they cool. did streamline it in a really satisfying way. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. The other game of his that we have, Citadels, like I, I like prefer Mission Red Planet. Yeah, more. Oh, than I Citadel. don't like Citadels. I love. Citadels. I like. Citadels I Citadels would have put Citadels on my list, but <laughs> it's just so small I don't care. It's easy. I, don't see it. I yeah. feel like <laughs> if you <laughs> played it again, you would like it. Sure, maybe. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm maybe. just confused as to when you're going to change this YouTube title to trashing Renee's favorite games. <laughs> Do you like Mission Red Planet? Yes, I love Citadels. I love Mission Red oh, Planet. Oh, Citadels is not on the list. Winter. She doesn't, all of she doesn't want to be games. in the video, but she's gonna sit here and yell at us from just off. She likes Taking all of my favorite games and putting them out there for people to. to well, stop it's just because we want. No, it's ones that we want to play. Yeah, and, we need to play them, and you need to play them with us. So yeah. if you really love these games, you would play these games. But you actually don't love them. I ask you all the time to play, and you say I don't want to play that. And that's. I'm sure that's never <laughs> happened. Yeah. I'm sure. Talk about behind the scenes, the real Chris Jordan. Oh my goodness. Uh, behind wait, turn, the scenes. Turn the cameras off. Turn the cameras off. Welcome back to Room and Board. Uh, I think we were going on. Wait, are you appearing on camera? Is this the first camera? Don't trip over the camera. Oh my god. Why would you go this way? You should have gone under that one. There's too many cords. Stop the cameras. Stop the cameras. Welcome back to Room and Board. I think we were moving on to our number ones. Uh, I think we were too. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, my number one is King of Tokyo. Um, Good pick. We just recently got into a massive like roll and write phase. We're mm -hmm. playing a lot of more games that involve dice and the randomization of dice. And for me, I'm just like, I don't think we'll ever play King of Tokyo. Like, it, there's other games that we're going to play now. We have this, like... Why would we play it? Yeah, uh, it's a great game. It, it's small. It's not gonna. It doesn't need to leave. It can be on our collection. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those ones where I'm like, we should play it and see if it's as good as all these other roll and write games that we've been playing. Or like, why is it there? It's not really a roll and write either. It just it's has sure, dice. Rolling. It's just yeah. rolling. Sure. But it's the like thing a... is, is like, uh, it will, it'll never hit the table if just us two are hanging out. No. Yeah. Because like, also it's, it's a bad game with yeah. two, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it is one where there's like, you know, when you have those people in your life who are like, I love board games. Let's play board games together. And you're like, you, you don't actually love, you like Monopoly and Scrabble. Like, that yeah. is not enough to make an entire personality yeah. of liking board games. Anyway. Yeah. And when, we know because our personality is liking board is games. Is liking board games. <laughs> but there are those people who are like, I love board games, but they, they anyway. The, it's King, King of Tokyo is for them. For them. Sure. King of Tokyo is like, and then I you'll, you'll... King of Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> I like King of Tokyo too. I'm just saying, like it's it's accessible. It's like you can be like you don't actually need a lot of skill to be good at it. Just... No, for sure. But I would all honestly, I would rather just get five plain dice and play that like greed dice game that I learned from my friend Lauren. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sure, it's sure, the exact sure, same sure. game with that's these not, monsters and these things. The exact same. Well, it's literally, like, you get to choose if you want to save just, the things you... Like, what, is there a rock'em sock'em element to your no, dice game? No, there is game? no rock'em sock'em <laughs> element. You're very correct. Is there a giga the lizard? Thing. But here's the thing. I'm like, we don't need to get rid of it, but, but it's like, jigga. does it need to be on our shelf at home? Can we bring, bring it and leave it up here? So it's up here for when there's more people around, and it's one of those easy games to bring out up here. That's, a that's good, easier to teach, right? I feel like we're never going to... My niece would love. Yeah, we totally. Like, my niece and nephew would love it. My Probably my... Parents would even enjoy it because it's pretty simple in terms of like what to do. But it's just like at our house, it's gonna mm -hmm. sit there. At our house, it's not gonna be played because we're gonna pull out Lost Cities Roll and Right. We're gonna pull out mm -hmm. that. That's pretty clever. Yeah. Like those are what we'd pull out if we want to roll some dice. We're not gonna pull out King of Camp Tokyo. That's a really good pick. Oh, yeah. that, I think that's a re that's a really good pick and like really good reasoning. I think it should it should live. Yeah, up yeah I think it should just be moved up here. Like we have. A couple up here. Even the feel the same way about Carcassonne, right? I'm like, we don't want to have Carcassonne on our shelf at home. It can come live up here. Yeah. Because here's probably where we get played. Yeah. I, you know, I struggle with change. I know this. But, <laughs> but you, so, he'd but rather just look, toss them but out look, look, or sell them right. very cheap <laughs> instead of just moving them up here. You're, you're yeah. right. In theory. 
I know. Thank you. Okay. It's really nice to hear. Uh, and that's words. on camera now. I know. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Treasure it. I'm just gonna like take that little clip and put it as oh like my, my like voice memo. I'll or send. I'll it. send it to you just yeah. to solo. Yeah. Just my voice defeated, saying you're right in theory. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> not even you're right. Just you're right in theory. That's honestly the best. All I need. The best yeah. you're ever gonna yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's my list. Those are my five. Nice. Good list. Really good list, yeah. Dave. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. And I feel like only one of ours overlapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is interesting. My number one. Yeah. It's still going to be on your face. Dinosaur Island. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Here's the thing. Fair. I love Dinosaur Island. It mm -hmm. is a great game. Yeah. It looks like an 80s dream. It. Yeah, I love it, it so much. It feels like you're making your own Jurassic Park, mixing the, collecting the DNA, mixing it, making the dinosaurs. Yeah. It's all very exciting. The problem is it's quite fiddly to learn. There's mm -hmm. a lot of mechanics. It takes a while to teach. Mm -hmm. And there's Dinosaur Island Rar and Write, mm -hmm. which is so much game in a small rar, like, roll and write box mm -hmm. for like... 26 bucks Canadian you can get it for and yeah. it gives you all the satisfaction of playing the actual game mm -hmm. without having to bring out that giant box. Yeah, but like the freaking dinosaur meeples though. Uh, Do like, you know what I mean? All this to say, it's a great game. It doesn't hit our table because if we want to play Dinosaur Island, we're going to play the Raw Room. Right? Yeah. And yeah. it's just, it's it's uh, it's a sad thing about it, but like they made a game that made their first game less useful. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I feel like, again, it's a game we need to give another, like give some more, sh another shot. I'll, I'll give We've it. We've played it like what, maybe two or three times? Yeah. And I, I, and I do feel like we will like it if we play it. But, it's just, again, it's a bigger game. It's not going to, it's harder to do, but yes, Dinosaur Island Roar Right is easier. Like, I'm just it. like, we're not getting rid of it. Picture it though. It's, it's, I love it. It's, it's, the it's, artwork's so it's, cool. I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah. Picture it's Tuesday night. We've had a long day. I made dinner. It was delicious. We're like, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tired, but I want to play a game. We're not going to say Dinosaur Island. No. No, we might play Dinosaur Island Raw and Right. The, uh, these are the the thieves of my Dinosaur Island Raw and Right, which I finally okay, got. Okay, we back. gave it back then to you, and then promptly version. bought our own. I don't know, but I love. Wow, I'm, cry! I love. No, I'm saying that I love that. Like, no, you just call this thieves on national yeah, television. That's so true, and you are. Uh, and I, like you it, held you know? it hostage. Um, no, but I'm I'm thrilled that you guys loved it so much, right? Yeah, because on Dinosaur it made my top twenty. Yeah, like because I I love it so much as well. Yeah, but I just. You know, it's a, right. it's a good pick. I it's just a, it's really a very love reasonable the pick. full version too, though. Like the, the yeah. pieces are so nice. The artwork's so cool. Like it just feels like a different game. And I feel like if we just play it, maybe you'll love it. Okay, you reread the rule book. Sure. You teach it to me. Okay, sure. It won't be a Tuesday night. I'll tell you that. No, for free. we can play up here one <laughs> one weekend. And then there's like there's some cool expansions too with other dinosaurs. Like come on, it looks cool. <laughs> I love that Matt is so deluded that he thinks that he'll allow someone. That's exactly what I, I was just going to okay. say. <laughs> Keep that off the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's the microphone. Yeah, the, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I, I'm like, wait, who, who's kidnapped Matt and replaced yeah. him with the clone? I know that's true. That's, that's true. like that that's meme. The one thing of, of never Terminator. To do. It's Terminator. It's like, hey, uh, like with the, you know, the, you know, the meme of like your parents are yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that's what it, that's what it is. Okay, what's your number yeah, you one? You can teach me the rule book. I'm sorry, but Matt's dead. <laughs> what's your number one? Uh, my number one is a game that you got. You guys haven't played, hmm. and actually, I haven't played. Hmm. But I know I'm going to love it, hmm. and it's really offensive to me that I haven't yet played it. And the reason is because it, it has a lot of similarities to Rising Sun, and oftentimes the group that that I want to play it with will just want to play Rising Sun. Mm -hmm. This is Cry Havoc. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. It looks so cool. I got it like it before the pandemic. Yeah, look it up. It's um, like really big box, right? Isn't it's it not. Like... It's not a really big box, but it's like maybe Blood Rage size. Okay. So yeah. so well, that used to be a really big box, and now with like yeah. Kickstarter yeah. standards of the boxes being up to here. It's insane. Um, cool board. Yeah, and and, and, and and also because I I've hesitated playing it because it is hmm. it plays best at four. Because there's always going to be these little green <laughs> ogres on the field. Oh, cool. And if you're playing with less than four, then they're kind of like an AI that you kind of take out. And so I want to play it with four. It is asymmetrical powers. The The battle system is similar to Rising Sun in yeah. that you're, you're bidding on kind of advantages with your people that yeah. you have in the battle. And so it's that idea of bluffing each other out in that battle. And, and then there's the clash. Like the battle feels so robust. It's just something that I, I, I haven't made a priority 
to get to the table yeah. because I play Rising Sun yeah. and because I like that so much. And so that's why it is my number one because I think it's gonna hit. It's one of those games that I feel like is just gonna hit all the yeah, it's all gonna the like marks check for all me. the box for you. But but Rising Sun already does that. Yep. And I and I just don't get it to the table even though I've had it on my shelf. It's the only game that's on my like main shelf. I mean, I guess now I kind of have two main shelves, but but the main shelf that I haven't played. Yeah. And it and it because like I don't like putting games up there that that I haven't played, right? Like if it's displayed in the background, it's it's reflective of my taste. Yeah. Um, but it's it's the only game that's up there that I haven't played. And it's up there because I know it's good. It's like yeah, I read you through know the rule book like be a good game. three yeah. times. I'm like, okay, I forget the rules. Better read through the rule book again. So just when it's ready, like I can teach it. But uh, I haven't yet gotten it to the table. Well, so Chris, I would say it's now or never. No, it's, it's now, now, it's now or, or never. never. Wait, no. Mm. Oh no, yeah. No, no. No, we're done. Now it's now or, or never. never. <laughs> I'll do slow motion. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll zoom in on, on that. Pride Month, no less. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's the video. Uh, yeah. Do we want to have a, a quick Pride Month bonus round? <laughs> I mean, are we doing the Pride Month bonus round? I, I don't mean, think no, we're filming no, the second we're video. Not ready. We're, we're not, not ready. I don't know if we're ready. I don't know. If do I'm you ready. even have an idea? We, no. we were thinking do you even about have any ideas. I have a couple. We, we mean, wanted to do games. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want the Pride Month gay video. <laughs> <laughs> and Hi, maybe guys. you'll get gay games for Pride Month. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about that, like, uh, games that you should play for Pride Month. I mean, I also, we, we can't do it now because, like, I think all of our number one would be Rococo. I mean, yeah. Rococo. Rococo. Yeah, so. That would for sure be number one. Anyway. I also want to I mean, do Bubble top, Pop could be up there. Ooh. Bubbly Pop? Yeah. It's Edmund Rainbows. <laughs> but, like, yeah. you know. I wanted to do top five games that were secret gay, mm -hmm. but that got vetoed because it sounded like it was going to become homophobic. Yeah, yeah like so, we, we so. didn't we didn't want the thumbnail on that one. To it's rude to out <laughs> games. If games don't want to yeah. be out themselves, we yeah, shouldn't be true. out. Games are just that's exploring true. their sexuality. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so we'll say that, yeah, I also, uh, other possible topics that we were thinking about were uh, games that would win Drag Race. Yeah, that, that would be a good well. one. Yeah, would be win good. Drag Race. Or games that would win Survivor. Sure, that would, yeah. that would be a pretty fun one too. Yeah. But you're gonna have to wait and you know smash the crap out of that like button mm -hmm. to make sure that I get these these two cuties back on the channel. Um, Start a Kickstarter called Save Rumpy's Game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rumpy, you're Rumpy, you're fine, Rumpy. We're not getting rid of any. We're not getting rid We're of it. We're just thinking talking. about breaking We're up just with that. Talking yeah. here. You know, my gonna... blood, sweat, and tears went into those damn shelves. To <laughs> hold up the games that we love to play, and what's sitting on them collecting dust? Your trash. <laughs> and what's going in the trash? My gems. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> it's now or never for some of these games. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Chris George. I'm David. I'm Brish Horge. And uh, you know what? I don't I don't have a catchphrase at all. But uh, we gotta end this yeah. before Rumpy gets into Rumpy's rage. Yeah, before Rumpy rage. Before rages. Rumpy has a rage. We'll all be we'll all be in trouble. We're not it, it would be it would be never for the three of us. Uh, so <laughs> Bye gays! We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>